I'm Juanita. Did everyone survive Thanksgiving? Tonight, I'm going to make a pie. Hi, this is Juanita. How would you like to learn how to make a toffee pie? This is a toffee cream pie that is absolutely delicious. Well, if you stick with me, I'll teach you how it's done. Hi, I'm Juanita. Did everyone survive Thanksgiving? Tonight, I'm going to make a pie. It's a toffee cream pie, like Heath toffee. There was a pie that I love to eat at the Paragon Casino in Marksville, Louisiana. Well, I think I may have found a recipe that I can adjust and make my own and duplicate that same pie. So if you'd like to give it a try, if you'd like to learn how to make it, stick with me and we'll give it a shot. Here's the ingredients that I'm working with. A third of a cup of powdered sugar, a full cup of whipping cream, the heavy stuff, I'm going to use one and a half bags of these toffee bits made by Heath, a half a cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar. I've got some softened um, cream cheese. These are two blocks, so that's 16 ounces. And then in the cream cheese, I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, salted caramel, caramel um, liqueur. I haven't tried this brand before, but I did taste it this morning and it's absolutely delicious. So, what do you say we get started? It only takes a few minute to get, minutes to get it um, whipped up like this. And I don't want to make butter, so I'm going to throw just a little bit bit more whipping cream in here, heavy cream. And then I'm going to put the powdered sugar, let me get my hands out of the way, the powdered sugar into a little strainer. I'm gonna have a little bit more control As you can see that okay, huh? Just putting it in here a bit at a time. Don't have too much more to go. You get the picture, I guess. This pie is gonna be nice and sweet, I guarantee that. Okay, next, I'm gonna get this out of the way and I'm going to bring in the softened cream cheese, the two bricks of cream cheese. 
Let's see. I'm kind of, let me just go ahead and put that in there. The heck with it. Okay, I want to whip this up. Half cup of brown sugar here. Cream cheese looks pretty well incorporated. So I'm going to add, I've got my heavy cream cup here. I'm gonna add a little bit of, let's see, probably about a quarter. Nope, nope, better not add any more. I've got about a quarter of a cup of the salted caramel liqueur. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. This is um, the, still the cream cheese mixture with the brown sugar. I'll give it a little zip, but now remember this, <laughs> this isn't being cooked off, so um, you don't wanna turn it into a dessert that's gonna make you, well, unless you wanna turn it to a dessert that's gonna make you drunk. I've had plenty of those accidentally. Actually, they were pretty good. Okay, here we go. I must be losing my grip. No, no. and push down the green cheese. I think I can see a couple little chunks of uh, brown sugar in there that aren't dissolving. I don't know why, but... quarter of a cup of liqueur I added did make it a little more softer, not quite as stiff, but I still have more stuff to add before we're done. It's a little bit more. Now, 
I'm going to fold in gently the whipped cream with the confectioner sugar in it. Anybody out there want to lick a bowl? That's what I always ask my kids. Who wants to lick the bowl? Okay. The way you fold is just bring it up from the bottom, turn it over. Just like that. And just make sure that you have it, again, well incorporated. And as you know, this is a no-bake pie. I had um, already baked the pie crust for 11 minutes of pre-made pie crust. And of course, it's all cooled off and ready to go. First off, I'm going to add an entire bag of the Heath Bar Toffee Bits. And then I'm going to add a half of the bag. I just usually choke it down at the center and dump it in like that. I've got some saved back. I may sprinkle them on top and then do the same. Just fold in your toffee bits. Oh, <laughs> this really looks good. Just give me a spoon and I'll be happy. Now this has to go into the fridge and set up for about two hours and overnight, if at all possible. And it'll be all ready to eat. This is such a simple pie, and I guarantee you, you will love it. And I'm afraid this is a recipe that I made up myself out of desperation more than anything else. So, do what you can do with that. And I put a little, either a little towel or a pot holder underneath these glass uh, containers so that they don't slide around. This um, deal under here, it's also glass. Okay. I think I got a grip here. Just want to stir it up just a little bit more at the very bottom. And see some that nestle down here. That oh, looks good, huh? Now this is a nine inch pie crust. pie crust I cooked at 400 degrees for 11 minutes. I pricked the bottom of the crust before I put it in the oven with a fork all around the bottom 
And uh, of course I let it cool off completely before I added any of this filling. I have a little bit of toffee here and I'm just going to sprinkle some on to decorate it. And then this is gonna go in the refrigerator overnight and I'll tackle it tomorrow. Get it out, cut a slice, maybe put some caramel syrup on it and see what it tastes like. There it is, it's a beauty. Let me pick it up and show it to you, hold on. Toffee cream pie. Anybody want some toffee cream pie? It's been in the fridge for longer than two hours. You can do it overnight as well, leave it in overnight. I'm getting ready to cut myself a slice.